So what are the common problems and issues to look out for? The Nissan RB26, it's a very good engine. It's very reliable. I do hate making these videos, but there are always with any engine, a list of common faults that crop up fairly regularly with any engine design. And just being aware of these faults can actually allow you to look out for them, mitigate the damage that these faults may go on to cause, and even nip them in the bud by addressing those faults quite early on. <laughs> So there's a few weak spots to look out for on the RB26. So under heavy load, the oil pump is prone to fail and that causes oil starvation, which can be catastrophically fatal for the engine. So don't skimp out. Make sure you've got an oil pump that's capable of delivering enough oil. Some people say the N1 spec oil pump is sufficient for most projects. Others want to go even beyond that and look at a proper aftermarket oil pump just to ensure that there is no danger of getting that oil starvation issue. So Tomai Jun, and G Ready all have upgraded oil pumps available for the RB26 and they all work really well. It'd be interesting to put them head to head and just see which is the best, which flows the best, which is the most reliable. So maybe that's something we'll come back to in a future video. If you've got experience with any of those different oil pumps, let us know in the comments. Love to hear your experiences and what you've done to your RB26 and how you've got on with it and how you've overcome any of the problems that have cropped up. Ignition coils often fail. Now that will manifest itself as a flat spot or a misfire on one or two cylinders. If one starts to fail, you can assume that they're all about to go. So don't just replace one get the whole set replaced at the same time. So I must stress that you need to service these engines. They're high performance engines. They require a lot of care and maintenance. Pay special attention to the oil grade. We've got a couple of videos on different oil grades and um, what the oil actually does inside the engine beyond just lubricating it. It's quite interesting when you discover just how much oil does and specifying the correct sort of oil can make a big difference to your success, especially when you're tuning your engine to those much higher power figures. So I really hope this video has been useful to you. It's helped you to get your RB26 tuning project off the ground. You've perhaps got some power figures to aim for. You've got an idea on which budget will fit your selected power gain. And hopefully we've flagged up as well some of the best options just to avoid you making a lot of the common pitfalls. There are so many RB26 parts out there. We certainly can't cover them all in a short video like this. Please let us know in the comments what your experience has been so that we can glean all of this together and maybe do more videos in the future focused on the RB26 and how to get the most from it. We'd love you to stay tuned. So please subscribe if you haven't done so. And we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to boop that like button because that really helps us to get out there. Thanks for watching.